Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Friday, everybody. And I'm praying for you to have a joyous and blissful and restful uh, weekend. For those of you who are going to get that opportunity to get out a little bit, enjoy some nice weather, have some good times with family and with friends. Uh, it's the first weekend in October, which means we're going to be celebrating Andy Girl, my, my precious girl's birthday. And I'm feeling some, some, some ribs in my spirit, OK? Uh, I'm feeling some ribs and some baked beans with crumbled ground beef and andouille sausage with extra onions and peppers chopped up in them and stewed over a slow crock uh, on the Traeger for about two, three hours. And that way all the sausages just start to meld together and you talk about some good old eating. Mercy. I think I'm going to do some roasted corn, y'all because I hadn't done roasted corn in a while. So you keep it wet, keep the corn wet, and don't shuck it. Keep it in the, keep it in the, y'all know what I mean when I say shuck, don't, don't, don't shuck it yet. Okay, still got the ears all on there. And you bathe it in some water, get some strings around it, and you just kind of, they steam with all that water. And then you peel the ears back and for like 10 minutes on each side, brush it with some butter and a little cinnamon. Okay, so it's a sweet kind of butter, and some cracked salt over that thing. And I'm talking, it'll set you free. You hear me? I forgot what I was talking about. Um, but anyways, I'm excited about the weekend and I hope that you're gonna have a beautiful, I just wanna pray over you. And I wanna pray Psalm 2-8 over the world today. There's a song that we used to sing when we were coming up, right? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. And Psalm 2-8 is a reminder that. Psalmist says, ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. What does God mean there? Um, he's talking about the heritage of the gospel. And God says, when you pray for the nations, I will pursue the nations for my name. And the ends of the earth, your possession, that's a possession for the kingdom of God. I've got a mentor who prays Psalm 2-8 every day. He's been on probably three, 400 mission trips in his life. And every morning when he wakes up, he prays Psalm 2-8 because he's asking that God would save the nations. And as we consider what's going on in the Middle East, and as we consider what's going on in Puerto Rico and the devastation that is hit there and the continued calamity of our brothers and sisters in Ukraine and the Christian church over in Russia who's against this onslaught, of what's been going on. We pray that the gospel would rev be revived in the nations of the world. So let's pray together, hope for today. Jesus, thank you, God, for this Friday. Thank you, God, for this week. God, I pray for a sweet weekend with family, our friends. And I pray, God, for a time of reconnection and recharge as we go to our churches, Lord, to hear your word and to love on others. Holy Spirit, we pray for the nations. God, you've got the whole world in your hands. And I pray, God, for salvation for the lost, hope for the dejected, repair for those who have been breached. And we pray in Jesus' name, Lord God, as you are soon coming, that you would fill up heaven before you come in the name of Jesus with souls putting their trust and faith in Jesus. And I pray that in the name of Christ, I pray and we pray. Amen. That's hope for today. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next time.